I've been fascinated with the idea of alternate realities, and uh, I thought if we could explore that on stage, actually create a story where we watch one actor in real time go through two possible realities in her life, if we can really pull that off and make it feel emotional and have a little theater magic, I think we could have a really exciting theatrical experience. You know deep down I'm a coward, afraid to let you in. But the only thing more frightening is to say what might have been. So here I go. I don't write really lyrical, sort of highfalutin words. I write words that make people sound like human beings, because that's what we write. So I think that that would, that's, that, you know, certainly in the case of writing New Yorkers, you know, one thing that I think all New Yorkers have in common is a very low tolerance for BS. So I try to keep as much as possible the BS out of the lyrics. as we're rehearsing the show and performing the show, that's, there are always these echoes and ghosts of my own past relationships, past friendships, people who are alive, people who are dead, and how we got to where we are, you know, and of course, all of that stuff is very, very present. Lovers, or we're not the other me's, live with what they've got. Look down each road left every turn and twist lives that we just let go by the dreams we might have missed now we're old enough to know that one road ends where one begins the moment where the what might be turn into my have I am just so fortunate to be involved in a project that I have my family. I have Michael Greif, who gave me my first professional job ever from Rent, and um, to be working with two writers that I admire immensely. And um, we just all got together. We knew we wanted to work together, and you're never sure how it's going to work, or what's going to happen. But we just put the energy out there, and here we are, a couple of years later. And it's just—it's been the most rewarding experience of my life. Oh, it's The purpose of theater in general is to touch, you know, to, to affect an audience member. And I think that this is a new way of affecting someone because it's so close to home. A lot of the themes and a lot of the circumstances are very real and it's what everybody is dealing with in some, in some way.